So I finally shorted out my electric bicycle battery pack. This is my 16 amp hour 48 volt battery. And I've popped this row of fuses. These are 4 amp Pico fuses. And it seems like it's worked great. I had my head on backwards. I I tried testing the voltage with the multimeter in the amp setting instead of the volt setting. It happens. So basically I broke the connector and whatnot. It's, it's just a simple mistake. Well, I went through and ch checked all these fuses. Some people have asked, how do you check the fuses? Well, simply you just check them with like that. And of course the ones that are broken don't have any power going through. And there's no actual voltage from the batteries on here. Because some people say that you can't do that because there's a voltage on it, but you, you can because it just doesn't work that way. So you can flip it around and it still works. So I've gone through and tested all these and I found it's these ones. I think I can go and start pulling a couple off. So the battery itself is fully working now, but unfortunately I forgot. I shorted it through the charge connector, so basically I blew up the BMS. But this BMS was pretty much on its last leg because it was only charging to about 3.8 volts anyway, so I guess it's about time I replace it. I'll be sure to find, or well, at least I'll try to find one that fits this exactly. But unfortunately, what I find is, like last time, I wanted this to fit the other one exactly. But whenever I ordered it, it wasn't as pictured from Amazon, or from a, uh, from eBay, from China. It was just an entirely different product, and so you never know what you're going to get. So I might need to switch the connector back over to the other one again. I guess for now it'll be okay. What I need to do is I need to take off all these little extra bits. And then I lay these down flat. I'm not going to fully wrap it up because I have to take it back apart and put the BMS on it. But for now, it should work at least good enough. And I can still charge it. I'll just make sure that the cells are all balanced. And I'll, I can manually check the balancing of the cells through the BMS connector. You just measure between the two pins. The way I see it, I almost always have a pillow around the battery now, so I don't need nearly as much protection for the actual cells. And so they should be able to handle this for at least a little bit. And this box may be on its last legs also. I find with all the bumpy roads I go over, the, the edges keep popping out. But I guess it's good enough for now. So in conclusion, I think that worked out pretty well. I mean, 
At the heart of it, I fucked up and I caused the problem and the battery handled it okay. The BMS didn't handle it okay, but it's a $10 BMS, so what do you expect? I think I'm going to put four amp Pico fuses on every cell for my battery packs for the foreseeable future. And I think it probably did a good job of stopping any big issues. And I'm glad it actually worked. I never actually had any tests of these fuses, so I didn't know if it would actually work. And honestly, it seemed to work out fine. The fuses stopped the power whenever I accidentally shorted out, and they never have shot, stopped the power whenever I've like been going up a hill or anything. So it seems like it's at l it, it's at least enough capacity to handle anything I can do while riding the bike. It just trips whenever I like well whenever I do something stupid like try to measure the voltage with the amp setting instead of the voltage setting. So yeah, I think I might. I mean, I wonder. Do they sell little, uh, like, uh, circuit breakers? Because that would actually be pretty interesting. Have circuit breakers so I wouldn't have to go and resolder everything? I don't know. It's just an idea. Soldering those fuses on there is quite easy, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.